Uh, namaste guys in this video we are going to learn how to measure the length of an curve okay in blender so let's start press a x and delete so let's add our curve let's say circle let's uh, scale it up and let's you know make it little bit zigzag now how i supposed to calculate the length of it so if you are on youtube or google you will find that some of do coding or you know complex thing so i am going to use something called geometry nodes let's see how to approach it click on new and click on add mesh and let's add a text so click on new and first thing that i'll do is click on here and what i want i want object info uh, shift a uh, curve length so it contains the length of my curve so click on relative so when i update it uh, you know i can get the idea so attach the geometry to it now after that what i want i want to show it here so how can i show it so i will add uh, mm, curve to string or text to uh, simple text not this one so sorry shift a curve to string Value uh, string to curves. Now shift A and curve to uh, I want to attach curve length to the string, so how can I do that? So shift A value to string so it has a value it go to the string notice my value is there but it is exactly 29 uh, the answer is no so let's increase its decimal value so higher the value increase you can better the length now if I you know change the length of it for example select this point and press G notice my length is changing and it's quite you know useful thing now you know make it more better so let's add shift a uh, curve to mesh curve to mesh shift a extrude Okay, extrude curve I guess extrude fill curve so you can see so if I change the you know the size of it you can see I can easily uh, see what its length instead of you know making something complex and it is quite useful now some people might wondering where is the use of it it is very useful uh, to know the curve length and you can use it lots of uh, places for example if you want to you know animate something uh, your wheel rotation and you want correct wheel rotation then curve length will be very useful for you uh, in future onwards i will use this thing uh, very usually so i recommend that you save this thing somewhere okay as you can see it's quite beneficial and if you want check out the notes simply you know you can go there on my website and you will find the link so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to us thanks for watching and have a great day namaste